Good morning there, people. Hey, it's uh, January 3rd. I'm out here walking this morning. Uh, didn't think I was going to be able to walk because it's calling for rain here all day long, but there's a little break in it right now. And I'm going to get out here, try to get my at least a mile down here this morning. Feeling pretty good today. Um, yesterday, we stuck to our plan pretty good. Also had a little weight workout and uh, um, feeling a little bit sore this morning, not much. That's why I didn't overdo it. So we're gonna go, go ahead and continue walking. We hadn't even ate breakfast or anything yet. We're gonna go ahead and knock this out and then we'll uh, talk about what we're gonna have this morning for breakfast. All right guys, I'll see you in a few. Okay guys, we just completed mile number one and the pace was 17 minutes and seven seconds and i think we're going to end up going a little further we've been walking <clears throat> down a couple little side streets adding a little bit of limp to this journey and uh the uh, weather is holding off so we might end up walking about two miles let's walk down this little road here add a little bit to it okay guys see you in a little bit Okay, folks, <clears throat> hey, we're back from our little uh, morning walk. We went 1.61 miles, and uh, it's a little further than we went yesterday, so that's even better. All right, we're going to go in here and chill out a little bit, rest up a minute, then we're going to uh, go ahead and get our breakfast going this morning and continue on with our day. I'm sure we'll be posting some more stuff later. So, guys, join me. Come on, let's get this thing done. Let's lose some weight in 2019. All right. Okay, folks, uh, back inside. I'm just kind of resting a little bit before I get something for breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm going to have today. Um, I think this morning, I'm just going to have a protein shake and I'm going to eat a brownie, okay? <clears throat> because I have some of these leftover brownies from New Year's uh, Day, our little celebration we had here. And if you and I don't want them to go bad because they're so good anyway, you know. But if you are going to eat something sweet or eat something, you know, that's uh, maybe not what you consider that healthy, eat it early in the morning because you've got all day long to burn it off. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my brownie this morning. Uh, I haven't even had my morning sun drop. I've been drinking water ever since I got up. So I might save my glass of sun drop to drink with my lunchtime. Okay, so there you go. Um, like I've said before, a couple of tips to keep you successful in your journey is don't cut anything totally out of your diet. Don't say, I'm never going to eat pizza again, or I'm never going to go eat fast food again, or I'm never going to do any of this again. Uh, just try not to do it as often and keep your portion size under control if you do you know if you go to mcdonald's don't get two big macs two orders of fries and some chicken nuggets and a large sweet tea you know maybe just get um you know maybe get a chicken sandwich you know and don't worry about the fries give them to someone else who's with you or something like that uh, so cut down on portion size big important thing um, I know one, like I told you, I've had experience for many years, you know, of, of losing weight and then gradually gain it back as I get off whatever program I'm on. And when I was younger, I uh, played football and I was all into lifting weights. I mean, lifting heavy. I mean, I used to deadlift 505, I think was my best. I could power clean 325. I had like the school record at my high school for that. Could bench press. I think the most I ever benched was like 345. I squatted 460 was my best. You know, I used to be all into that power lift and stuff. <clears throat> Definitely not going to do that anymore. Getting too old for that. But uh, we will be using weights because weights, a weight workout <clears throat> will actually, um, if you do it in such a fashion, at a, at a rapid enough pace to where you can get your heart rate up, um, after that workout is done, <clears throat> your heart rate will stay up longer. You'll be burning calories long after 
uh, <clears throat> you had your weight workout, okay? And uh, more so than getting on a treadmill for 30 minutes or going for a walk because you actually recover a lot quicker from, from doing that type of exercise. So that's another thing I wanted to touch on. So definitely um, getting some type of weight workout into your routine is definitely going to help you a lot. Get Tone them muscles, strengthen them muscles, and then them muscles will help you burn fat. Okay. So um, definitely do that. Another thing I want to uh, say right quick, and then I'm going to let you go, is like when you do your official weigh-in, okay, go ahead and do it at night where you're the heaviest at night because you've got all your water weight and everything. Go ahead and have your clothes on if you want to. You know, don't put weights in your pocket or anything like that, but if your car keys are in there and your wallet's in your pocket and everything, even if you got your gun in your pocket, that's all right if you carry one. Just go ahead, that first way in, go ahead and make it look bad. You know, make it look bad. Because um, that's going to be the number that you're going to work from, okay? Because uh, after... Uh, I want you to weigh in once a week. You can step on the scales every day if you want to, just to see if you're tracking right, but do your official weigh-ins weekly, okay? <clears throat> and I guarantee you, a big guy like me, I already know I, I'm going to lose 10 pounds in the first week, okay? I, I realize it's, it's probably going to be 10 pounds. And that's going to be a big motivator to keep doing it, you know? The first week or two, you're going to lose the most weight, that you're going to lose in this whole venture, okay? Because you've started moving. You've changed your diet and you've started moving, okay? And you're going to get rid of a lot of water weight and stuff like that, you know? And you're going to notice that maybe you might go one rung up on your belt size. Your clothes are going to start fitting a little looser and you're going to start really getting into it. So I want you to get into it. So that first way in, go ahead and do it late in the evening, have your clothes on, whatever, and write that number down, document that number. That number's already been, I've documented it on this Patreon <clears throat> account. So go ahead and do that. And then all your other weigh-ins, you know, do them early in the morning wearing your underwear, okay? <laughs> or whatever, you know, or whatever you decide to uh, do it first thing in the morning. You're gonna be the lightest when you get up in the morning. And, uh, you know, you can have your PJs on or whatever you wear, you know, whatever you wanna wear. But just keep that consistent from there on after and then track your weight loss, okay? Because I want, I want you to get a big motivational pump out of your first week's results because they're going to be probably the best results that you're going to have. Uh, the more you get closer to your target weight, uh, the harder it is to burn that fat to, to continue losing. And as we get closer to that, once I drop the first... 15, 20 pounds, we'll start talking more about what you got to do to step it up a little bit to keep keep the process going. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Uh, there might be another video posted later today, or I might just actually just post some content on what I did. I'll talk about my lunchtime diet and uh, the late day workout. We'll definitely work out again. We'll do a few different movements today, work a couple different muscle groups than we did yesterday. And we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on everything. That's what this um, uh, Patreon account's for, you know, uh, the folks that are uh, paying a dollar a month to watch me lose some weight. All right, I appreciate you um, out there. And we're gonna <clears throat> keep this going. So have a great day.